the drop element tool you can get to that particular tool right here in your main toolbar or if you go down to your construction toolbar you can use it right here also with the drop element tool this will allow you to drop an element to its individual pieces say for instance we have this girder or we have this box or even this line string you're going to see that it's all placed together well let's say I need to delete out a portion of this box or a portion of this line string well if I do it right now and I use my delete tool it's going to delete out that whole entire shape well here let's say I need to delete this piece of this box well I'd have to drop that element first and you get some different options whenever you ha you get your drop element tool you got complex dimension which we'll talk about that here in a second line strings and shapes if that particular shape is out there and you want to drop it you'd want to check mark that box which we're going to check mark for this example here multi lines not really going to worry about that shared cells you do have the option that says text so if you ever drop text you could do that I don't really recommend it because if you drop text it's to its individual little pieces and then you can't edit that text anymore can't use your edit text tool and retype that text so I don't there's really no need to utilize that one and then application elements which we're not going to talk about So right now we have complex line strings and shared cells checked on now if you left click on one of these items here and once you've done that you've dropped the element so now if I hover over it instead of the whole entire element being highlighted you're just going to see individual lines as I move around it because I've dropped that element into its individual pieces same thing for this box here left click on it and I'm finished it's dropped it to its individual elements over this line string now if I hover over it it's to its individual pieces so if I use any of my other tools now my delete tool you can see I can delete out the individual pieces around it so that's what the drop element tool allows you to do it allows you to drop that element into its individual segments if you ever need to do that also with the drop element tool we have the option that says dimension so if we need to drop a dimension string we could do that right now I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit we have this dimension now if I use my modify tool I can modify this dimension but it's going to modify that whole entire dimension string that are all tied together and that's all dependent on how that dimension was created but if I go back to my drop element tool you have the option to drop a dimension now you got a couple different options though you have two segments or two geometry for this example here we're going to do the one that says two segments that way our dimensions will stay as a dimension but it will drop it into its individual dimensions so all I need to do now is left click on that dimension string and now if you hover over top of it you'll see that your dimensions now are segmented out they're individual dimensions so if I use my modify tool and modify it I can do that I can move them around and maybe get them out of the way of some other dimension that's going through there or whatever situation that you got or if I need to move my text around you know I can do that you do have the option in your drop element tool that says to geometry and if you do that and I'll just do it to this one right here left click on it you've dropped it down but now it's not a dimension anymore it's actual individual pieces that were that are out there so you've actually dropped that dimension into its individual little pieces so if I use my modify tool now it sees this line right here as a line or well, this arrowhead that used to be an arrowhead it's an individual line now so that's what that tool is going to do if you drop the dimension to its geometry not recommended but that is an option do a few undos to bring it back so that's what that one will do also whenever you use the, the drop element tool.